right, well, we are back here, ready to uh, dive into some more Cactus Air Force. But before we do, we had us a little bit of a ooh, late night session last night, setting up. Ooh, here we are. Gettysburg. <laughs> yeah, we took the plunge. We got the old, uh, unlike Gary, on Art Wolf's Lair, we used the old uh, scissor clippers. But we had a lot of counters to clip. We were counter clipping till about 2 o'clock in the morning. Going over these rules. Like I said before, I have played this game. But we played the uh, second bull run. There's two games in one. And this game's been on my shelf for a while. And I forgot all about the fact that I have never played the Gettysburg version of this. Second bull run is on my uh, library of videos. You can see that. And it was a great game. And we're familiar with the uh, mechanics. We were up last night. The rules aren't too bad either. They're only about uh, I think, uh, 11 pages. So this is, I'd say this would be a medium complexity game. Not that hard at all. Uh, now we're here with the uh, actual scenario specific notes and rules before we fire this sucker up. But uh, a big part of this game is chit pulls. Uh, pulling chits, that's one of Ted Racer's uh, signatures. Uh, now, I was reading the designer notes on this, and it says that uh, he took this game design or the mechanics or something uh, from maybe a World War I game. So uh, he was on the designer notes telling you how he was going to, how the similarities, how it wasn't that hard to incorporate the rules from a World War I game into Gettysburg. Also made some notes on how he used the artillery in this game. And as a matter of fact, it's represented by, if you can see here, on this little draw cup uh there's four in here that you'll be drawn for the u.s and and six for the confederate states so uh confederates definitely start out with a little bit more of an artillery advantage he says and uh what other notes did he make uh, just some uh designer notes i always like to read as a matter of fact like i said earlier again uh we have a game by mr racer in the pipeline it hasn't been shipped yet it is at the printer, so we're in the old Mr. Racer motif <laughs> down here with this. And uh, I'm uh, developing a post Gettysburg game, so this gives me a little bit of a feel. And as a matter of fact, I want to show you on these symbols here. I wanted these on my units, but I really could never get them lined up with the you know exact core. I mean, I, I could have looked it up, but there's something I wanted to put on my units too, or these uh, cores, and then uh, here. Before he invaded Pennsylvania, he reorganized his uh, army into these, ooh, what would these be? I guess they're corps, but they're named after their commanders instead of, you know, 5th and 6th Corps and everything, Union. But I uh, get a lot of information from my game on this one, and a great map, a great map. I was, meh, you know, with each his own. I got my own map in there of Gettysburg and... Uh, you know, it's just nice to compare, take notes. But anyway, we got this thing set up. Whether we get it played through or done by the time I get my game, next game from GMT remains to be seen. We still got a lot of chores outside. I got to finish staining my deck steps today. And we could see here, I'll, I'll peek out. It sun be blazing. <laughs> I usually like it when the sun goes on the other side of the house, and this is shady to get out there and do that. But I want to get it done. And then get back in here. We still have Cactus Air Force to play. And our latest game, Clash of Giants, Civil War, Gettysburg. Summertime in July. Having a great time down here in the War Room section of the Man Cave. We'll be back. More gaming.